What's up guys, welcome to Brobeast TV and today I'm just going over a quick tutorial over how to export your beats or you know your song or whatever and I'm not going to be going into too much details, be really quick um, I'm just be telling you how I do it and some others that I know do it so I'm just going to export just you know quick whatever so what I usually do it depends what I usually do is I just go wave mp3 you know so you have both because the wave file is way more valuable than mp3 and you can see that right here so you can see the mp3 right here you see the number 788 and you come up here and you see how much more space it is because it has more data in it you know resulting in a higher quality you know song and usually and for so I usually choose both because you can sell your mp3 and you can sell your wave so what I usually do down here in this area I'm just trying to keep it simple so I usually just keep it in 16 bit because I mean when I listen to the songs from 24 bit to 16 bit there isn't a huge difference and it saves a lot of space as you can see the higher this number the higher the quality but I just keep it at 16 and then I usually put my mp3 at 320 I just put it all the way up but it depends on your computer but 192 is like the default I guess you can say that so you can just put it at if you have a slow computer you can put you know at the lowest 192 was well, not the lowest but I recommend you keep it at least at 192 and then here down here you want to set your stuff up like how I have it I mean it should already be like this but if it isn't like if all this stuff just keep it like this and then you split your mix mixer tracks with this button but we don't have to worry about that right now so for the resampling basically the lower it says right here the lower this is the lower the quality and it'll render faster but I keep mine on 520 no matter what even when I had like a uh, I had a really crappy computer I always it took like 30 minutes but I all my stuff I put at 520 no matter what because I wasn't even good at mixing so at least the you know this could help it a little bit which it doesn't really sound a big difference but you know when mixing with vocals it might make a really big difference so yeah that's how I do mine that's how I export mine and it really doesn't take that long so well for you know I mean, this is really short it's just a short little you know beat but that's just how I do mine but if you just have a slow computer I recommend putting around 32 24 um, 16 bit and you can put it at 192 and leave remainder so it doesn't cut off it doesn't cut off your song because sometimes that happens to me and I have to re-upload a beat or something because at the end of the song it'll just cut off but some artists like that but I'm just saying so you know that's just a quick thing you can you know quick settings you can take a picture of these settings if you want you just name one picture like uh, low settings and then I guess this would be pretty good right here you can name this like high settings or high quality settings and you can just copy this every time and no I promise you no, more, no one's gonna complain about the quality as far as you know exporting so unless your mix is terrible but it shouldn't be but uh thanks for watching I hope this helped out I hope you can you know you know a little bit more about exporting your beats which isn't too hard, but you know, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.